Department of Animal Sciences is in the School of uh, Natural Resources and Animal Sciences in the College of Agriculture in JQUAT. Here in this department, uh, our mission is to train graduates in animal sciences. Our main program in this department is Bachelor of Animal Health, Production and Processing. This is a program which is accredited by the Kenya Veterinary Board and also the Commission of University Education. Uh, besides the, uh, the other graduate program, we have other postgraduate programs that is in animal nutrition, in uh, animal genetics, in veterinary parastology, and all these are program all the students who come from these programs are on high demand in the industry. Um, my name is Dr. Isaac Osuga and I'm a lecturer as well as a research also in the Department of Animal Sciences. I teach animal nutrition and animal production courses and uh, this is one of the facilities that uh, we use in our teaching research as well as uh, community outreach uh, through a collaboration with uh, JICA. This lab was equipped uh, with the, the required equipment that we use to teach, to do research as well as also engage with the community uh, in aspects of uh, animal nutrition, feeding uh, and, uh, and, and feeds. And more especially also to do proper ration formulation for animals. So uh, our teaching is really uh, in-depth and uh, we make sure that they do it uh, so that when they leave uh, JQuat, they can be able to stand on their own, they can be able to uh, carry out whatever that we have learned on their own when they live here. Uh, my name is Martin Kemani. I'm a postgraduate student uh, doing a master's in animal nutrition. I have a passion of dealing with animals, working with them, and especially when dealing with the nutrition aspect, it's actually critical to the development, also productivity of animals, which is a key goal, especially in Kenya, when you are trying to improve productivity in our animals to improve our economy. And uh, JQuat, as you can see, is well equipped to enable me to pursue that uh, dream. Feeding, let's say feeding of an animal, is actually the most critical aspect of productivity. Where you look at the, what you feed your animal, what is in that feed, it will determine what you get from the animal. And now with the more and more people, you see some instances of competition between a human and a livestock with resources such as maize, you'll find that we have to look for alternatives, better alternatives, or how we can work with what we have. And now with this analysis, we can actually come forward with proof stating that we can work with this and this, with these expected results. And it's critical to improve uh, productivity, to boost the economy, reduce wastage of uh, resources and feed resources, and actually trying to compile what we have now. Is it nutritious enough for the animal? Can it work? Can we work with what we have? Or how can we better, better now the productivity of the animal, the growth, all of that, all the aspects? As I said, uh, this one, the, the JQuat is well equipped for analysis. Personally, I'm from a different university. I did my undergraduate there. But on closer research, I found that JQuat is actually the best suited to enable me to advance my knowledge in this sector. So what happens during our training of a student besides the classwork? Our students are attached in the neighboring institution within uh, Kiabu and Moranga counties. This is where our students get attachment with the farmers in the locality. Our students during their training, they undergo attachment, both internal attachment and external attachment. When they go for external attachment during their third year, they normally go to work with the, on attachment with the Ministry of Livestock and also with the pharmaceutical industry, with the feed manufacturers, all those people who are involved in the, uh, in the agriculture and uh, livestock industry. Our students, when they graduate, majority of them, and this is a requirement that our students have to get registered with the Kenya Veterinary Board, because as I said, this program is approved by Kenya Veterinary Board at the Commission of University Education. After that, they normally go for 
one year internship program which is paid by the Kenyan government. A group of students uh, are go for what we call Mashaf program. That is a program between the Kenyan government and Israel government. Right now we have uh, close to more than 30 students who are in Israel and are going one year internship there. And they normally also get a one year diploma from the same course. JQuat uh, is, is, is a very good uh, institution, well equipped. We have enough faculty members who have uh, very good experience uh, in terms of teaching, in terms of research, in terms of community outreach. And uh, we have also seen our students when they graduate, they are well grounded in uh, the course that uh, we take them through and more production, uh, animal health production and processing. And uh, so it will be a very good experience for them to come to JQuad and run at JQuad and, and more so in our program at the Department of Animal Sciences at JQuad. We have students uh, who have gone through this lab and uh, they are about to graduate. They usually take courses in animal nutrition, courses in uh, feeds, courses in feeding, uh, courses in uh, ration formulation, feed technology. And for them to do that, they have to use this facility as part of their uh, practicals. And uh, we have seen actually um, that when students uh, live here, they uh, get so much interested in animal nutrition and that's why most of them are also coming back uh, for postgraduate training and, and taking animal nutrition. Our students, when they graduate, where do they normally go? And eventually, once they have finished their internship program, they can be employed by the county and the national government as animal health and production officers. They can also be employed as a, by private and large-scale farms where they work as animal health para professionals. So a good number of them go also to private practice. So they can be able to treat animals just like any other animal health professionals. Others are employed by companies like Kenchik, Farmer's Choice, Kenya Cooperative Creameries, and all that kind of a group of institutions. A group of students also decide, especially the one who want to become academician, they can come back here for masters and they can do different courses here and eventually when they finish their masters they can be employed by Kenya Medical Research Institute or Kenya Agriculture Research Institute. That's the CALO, the, the, nowadays it is called CALO. But others can also be employed by Kenya Wildlife Services as animal health professionals there. And meanwhile another group of uh, people who have gone, for, have gone through our courses, they end up also becoming lecturers. Right now we have even lecturers who have, uh, we have uh, lecturers who have gone through our course and they are now in places like Australia and other countries in the world.